Yeah, this year's been fun. Last winter was kind of a bummer. I, I broke my collarbone last winter. That was a bummer. A couple days before Christmas, I broke it. I was doing something pretty dangerous. A lot of people have heard themselves doing what I was doing. I was carrying groceries. <laughs> I had two bags. They were pretty heavy. And somebody had put ice all over my driveway for some reason. <laughs> Not sure who did it. It shows up every year, but... Uh, and ice is hard to see. If you're not looking for it, you can walk right by it or on it, yeah. I wish it came in colors, that'd be awesome. <laughs> like, oh, the red ice is back, yeah! They have black ice, but that's clear too, so I don't know why they call it that. <laughs> it's confusing. <laughs> so I didn't see it, I was walking with my groceries, I lost both my feet, I flew up, I landed right on my shoulder, and right when it hit, I was like, oh, that feels different than it's ever felt before. <laughs> I get hurt so bad. And then my body just started making pain sounds that's never made before. It started coming out of me. And I thought I would have a manly pain noise. <laughs> is what I always assume. Like you seem like you would have a manly pain sound. Like you'd be like, and then your beard would grow a little bit more. <laughs> that's an inch, I'll walk myself to the hospital, it's cool. But my pain noise went up. Like it was just like, ah, 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 ah. Just laying in the driveway, surrounded by groceries so I could survive a couple days. <laughs> Nobody found me. Luckily, my wife heard me. She, she came running out, threw me into the car. Drove me to the hospital. All the doctors came out. They're like, is your wife in labor? I was like, that was me. I made those sounds. <laughs> I think there's a baby in my shoulder. <laughs> Feels like twins. <laughs> so then they brought me into the emergency room and it was winter, so I had a bunch of layers on. So the doctor's like taking off my coat and cardigan and stuff. And he got me down to just a white t-shirt, like my undershirt. And he goes, sir, is it okay if I cut your shirt off? I was like, yeah, you're gonna have to because I can't lift my arm up to get off. He goes, if I cut the shirt off, it is gonna ruin the shirt. <laughs> I was like, no way, for real? It's like, well, you're in medical school, they teach you that one. Like, just make sure the patient knows when you take a scissor to the shirt, it's not gonna work the same way as it did before. <laughs> they may wanna get some buttons in the gift shop on the way out. I told him, I was like, you can cut it off. I'm not too attached to this one. It comes in bags of 12, so I should be able to, I should be able to track another one down. I know a guy. So, so he cut the shirt off. He sent me to the x-ray machine. And then I came back from the x-ray and he goes, oh, Tom, we got bad news. He goes, your clavicle's broken. And I stared at him for a while because I'm a head, shoulders, knees, and toe guy. And I don't really know what a clavicle is. So I was like, you can probably just take it out, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've used my clavicle for years. <laughs> he was like, sir, that, that's your collarbone. I was like, oh, I've heard of that. Don't take that out. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that. So then I asked him, I go, so what's the next step? Like, how do we fix it? I was like, do we go to surgery? Like, what do we do? And he just pulled a sling out. He's like, you're gonna wear that for about six to eight weeks. And I was like, that's it? Just a sling? I was like, you're not even gonna set the bone or anything? He goes, no, we don't, we don't do that for collarbones. He's like, we would if it was coming out of you or if you're a professional athlete, then we would do some surgery for you. And then I was like, whoa, wait a second. Nobody asked me if I was a professional athlete when I got here. <laughs> I didn't fill out a survey or anything. I feel like you're making a judgment call on this one. <laughs> like I walked in here, you're looking at me like, I don't think he's throwing touchdowns this weekend. <laughs> Let's give him a sling. <laughs> you just watch tons and tons of comedy. Thank you so much. Now just click anywhere. Anywhere you want. Just uh, just click. If, if you can. If you want. I'll be here. You can just do your click. Thank you. <laughs>